Good morning guys from beautiful sunny South Florida. What's going on guys? I'm with Brooke, my fiance right here, and I got this idea today. There's this recipe I've really been wanting to try and it involves kingfish and bacon. I really have been wanting to make kingfish scallops wrapped in bacon in the oven. You guys know when you get an idea of when you wanna, you get this craving for something you wanna make? Well, that's what today's about. We're gonna go ahead, put the planers out, try to get some kingfish, we just came out of beautiful Hillsborough Inlet, Florida. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. So when we put out our spread, the first thing we do is there's a little tuna feather right here. And we're gonna put it out first because this line is gonna be way back and on top. So Burke's gonna speed it up a little bit, get the line away from the boat, and uh, then we're gonna put the planers out. Next up, we got our standard sea witch, a little squid skirt, some mylar. A young guy actually started his own company and it's this lure, it's an artificial lure called a bait strip. It mimics a bonita strip. So we're gonna go ahead and put this out. And so you guys have seen us use this in the past. This is a bridle system for your planer, but basically it allows you to take your planer off, detach it and reel in your line instead of having to hand line in at the end of the fighting of your fish. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy on. Our first fish of the day and so this is a little bonita false albacore right there which we're gonna keep because Brooke wants to catch some vermilion snapper later so we're gonna keep him as bait I'm reeling in and then right here in the whitewash something came up and grabbed it so I got no idea what it is but it was pretty sick it just came up and just catapulted out of the water after it Small bonita, big tangle. We already got one for bait, we're gonna let this one go. The seaweed today is horrendous. It's really bad and it's not good for trolling because you constantly gotta clear your lines and make sure that you don't have seaweed on your lure, your planer, and all that. There is a fishing tournament going on today. So trying to troll planers around boats that have three kites up with nine lines on kites and at least three flat lines out is also pretty challenging. There's a ton of boats fishing today. So you kind of got to sneak around through everybody to make it through. Oh, it looks like a blackfin. It is a blackfin. Got ourselves a little blackfin. You won't if you don't get them in the boat. <laughs> a little blackfin with a bloody eye. Look at this thing. These are one of the coolest looking little fish. Every time I see them, I just love their peck fins. They look like little airplanes. You guys see me say that every single time. Little tuna feather, always get to have on top. Look at how pretty. You really gotta appreciate them when you first catch them because they're all lit up. They lose their color once you put them in the cooler. But look at that. Gold and blue. All right guys, first fish on of the day. And as you guys see, Brick and I have changed our clothes and stuff because it's actually two days after since the last time you guys saw us fishing. We trolled for like five or six hours last time. Did not catch much besides a little black fin and some bonitas, but we got a beautiful sunrise behind us. Keep the boating gear and that's the cool thing about that bridle planer system is you can just take it off and now we can reel it all the way to the reel. Big old bonita. There's some bonita eating some bonita. I'm gonna put this guy in the cooler and we're gonna make strips out of him later. Bonita number two. There's our kingfish that we're looking for. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. So this was on the real bonita strip and this is what we're looking for. This is a kingfish, also known as a king mackerel. Pretty common size, probably in five to six pound range. And this is what we want for dinner. We're gonna make some bacon wrapped scallops out of this. But that's what we're after right there. Bonita, bonita, and more bonita. There's certainly no shortage of these guys today. Finally got our second king. I think we must have caught like 10 bonitas before we got this second guy right here. This was actually on the bait strip. So one king so far has been on the 
on the real Bonita strip, and then this one's on the fake stuff. There we go. Pink Sea Witch, you got some Mylar, Squid Skirt, you got your Mustad hook right there. And by the way, all the stuff that we used in today's video and all the planer stuff, I'm gonna have it linked in the description box below so you guys can see it for yourselves. There he is right there. Toothy little monster. Woo! All right, guys, we got our two kings right here, which is a one-man limit down here in Florida. I'm very excited because we got the recipe. Well, we got the fish we need for the recipe to make with the butcher box, which you guys are going to see during the cooking portion of this video. So we're going to head back in the inlet. I will see you guys in the sky and then back at the filet table to clean these guys up. you enjoyed that drone footage i love where we come from that is hillsborough inlet down in pompano beach florida and it is absolutely beautiful we get to go out of that inlet day in and day out and thank you guys for allowing us to do so and now the fact that i get to call this my job and i'd love to know where you guys are from so go ahead and comment below wherever lake river inlet you guys fish beach wherever your home body of water is go ahead and comment below and if you guys want to tag me in your pictures on instagram i'd love to comment connect with you guys and I'm a lot more active on Instagram so if you guys want to ask me any questions or DM me go ahead it's going to be linked below at Landshark Outdoors. Now the way I'm going to prepare this fish today I saw it on someone else's filet video one time where they kind of made like scallops out of their kingfish steaks and I thought it looked really cool and the butcher box sponsored this video they sent us some really good bacon which I'm going to talk about a little bit later and I want to make bacon wrapped kingfish so let's give this a go. So I'm going to go right here behind the peck fin and I'm going to start staking our kingfish. And when you stake a kingfish, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your steaks are, you know, appropriate size for whatever you're cooking. Now, since we want to make scallops out of this section right here, you see how it's kind of a little circle loin? That's where I want to get my scallops out of. So I want them to be about this thick. So we're going to go ahead and just slice through. And I'm using a, a thicker knife. This is a Dexter knife right here. I'm using a thicker one because I want to be able to go and muscle through the meat. So I'm going to go ahead, stake this guy up. Now you could 100% eat this steak just as it is, bake it, grill it, fry it, all sorts of ways. And kingfish skin is actually really delicious. It's one of very many fish that you can eat the skin off of. And all you have is this bone right here and some bone that runs along there. But if you are going to stake them, I recommend gutting them first, which is you'll see all the guts on the belly side of the fish. I got this smaller knife right here and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of work it towards the skin and kind of just trying to make a circle scallop like shape. Bring it back here towards the bone, back up around here and it should fall right out. Let's see. Just like that, look at that. I don't know what you would call it, a medallion, a scallop, but picture this, we're gonna wrap it in bacon, put it in the oven, and it's gonna be a really good time. So that is just one of them, and they pop right out. And the good thing about this is you don't have any bone in your final product. All you're doing is you're just kind of working the inside of the belly, you're working the inside of the backbone, you're working the inside of the skin, and you're just scooping those scallops out. Look at that, that looks good, doesn't that it? That does look good. So it's like you're skinning it from the inside out. Try not to penetrate the skin. I'm trying to get maximum meals on this one. So Brooke's dad actually was just at the filet table and he was like, why don't you just go all the way around with the skin? I don't know why I didn't at first. So you don't have to do each uh, scallop or medallion 
individually, I guess you could say. You could kind of just skin the whole thing at once. So now look, the skin should be able to slide right out. Never skinned a fish like that before from the inside out. That's actually really cool. If you ever wanted to have a steak and didn't want the skin on there, you could skin it inside out. And I think it's important to kind of experiment new ways of eating fish, filleting them, processing them. It keeps things interesting, you know? You guys don't want to miss what's coming up next. I got a really cool promotion coming up. It involves free steak, free bacon, free shipping, and a bunch of good deals. Welcome back to the kitchen, guys. Now, I am super stoked. We're going to make an epic surf and turf style meal. And all the meats in today's video are actually coming from today's sponsor, which is The Butcher Box. So they are a meal delivery service specializing in heritage bred pork, organic free range chicken, and grass fed beef. It's easy, it's convenient, they deliver right to your door. You got this box full of goodies, now let's open it up and see what we got. So, first things first, we got some beautiful vacuum sealed wild caught Alaskan salmon. We got the bacon, which we're gonna use for today's video, and these, look at these steaks. These look good. We're gonna throw these on the grill for our surf and turf. These are ribeyes. And then they come with all sorts of different stuff. You got chicken breast. So they got ground beef, breakfast sausage, all sorts of stuff. And you guys can customize your box. You can do all beef, all chicken, all pork. And right now, ButcherBox is hooking up my subscribers with an incredible deal called the Barbecue Bundle, where you guys will not only get ribs, you'll get ground beef and steak on top of your normal butcher box, but it doesn't end there because they're giving you guys $20 off your first box plus free shipping, but you guys gotta order by June 11th to get that promo, and you have to use the link in the description box of this video, and I'm also gonna have it playing on the screen here because that is a specific link for my subscribers only. They're hooking it up big time for you guys, so if you guys are interested, like I said, in the description box of this video or on the screen here, now let's get to cooking. Starting with Hasselback potatoes. Now the tool I'm using here is actually something really cool and shout out to Brooke's mom because she got it for me as a present. She always gets the most thoughtful gifts so shout out to Deb. Thank you very much. Now what I'm doing here is a Hasselback potato is pretty much like a baked potato but you pre-slice it down the entire length of the potato and then we're gonna bake it. Now here is our kingfish medallion scallops, whatever you guys want to call it. And I'm going to season these very simply with soy sauce and maple syrup. No need for salt as we already put in our soy. It's plenty enough to add salinity. The good thing about the maple syrup is those sugars will caramelize once you bake it and you raise that heat. And it kind of creates like a glaze on top of the kingfish, which I really enjoyed. Now go ahead. I just did kind of equal parts of the soy to maple syrup, mix it up and we're gonna go ahead and get some garlic going next which is gonna be used for our snow peas that is gonna be my vegetable of choice for this dish back to our Hasselback potatoes which are gonna be baked by the way so extra virgin olive oil and I just spread these and I try to get it inside the slices as much as possible but you also want some on the outside and then salt pepper you could do paprika garlic powder whatever you want I kept it real simple with just salt, pepper, and olive oil. Now here is the star of the show, next to the kingfish of course, is bacon. Everybody loves bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and you wanna really match up the size of your bacon slices to the medallions and it worked out perfectly in my favor to just do it in half. Now if I were to recreate this recipe, I would do two things differently. If you really like crispy bacon, I would pre-cook the bacon, not too much but just you know a little bit so that way it's still pliable and you can wrap around your kingfish that way you really get it crispy at the final product and then also I would do smaller kingfish medallions just because I felt like it was a little bit too much fish per bite we are going to very simply season our ribeyes with just salt and pepper and then we are going to cut up some scallion for our Hasselback potatoes which we're gonna top at the very end kind of like you're making a loaded baked potato but I kind of like those slices because you get all the flavors inside the actual potato now we got some garlic sauteing snow peas this is actually a really easy vegetable recipe it was just garlic olive oil snow peas a little bit of salt and pepper and then soy sauce just to kick it up a notch at the very end and they came out great all right guys we got the beautiful ribeye steaks going on the grill now 
gonna put them in across like that. That way we get those sear marks. And in two minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quarter turn. That way you have crisscross marks. Okay, so it's been two minutes. Now we're gonna do a quarter turn. that and like that. Two more minutes on this side and then flip them over and the same thing. Oh yeah baby look at those grill marks. Now I meant to take my steaks off a little bit sooner to get a more of a medium temperature but you know what it's such a good cut of meat it was still delicious. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I got to give a big thank you to my fiance Brookie right here. She helped me a ton with today's video. Just she's really good at time management. I'm not the best <laughs> at time management. She's like Vic make sure you got this on this on. So she helped me out a lot today. And like I said guys Butcher Box is a really cool company meal delivery service and if you guys want to get that promotional offer the barbecue bundle you have to make sure you use my link once again linked in the description box below also on the screen by June 11th and if you guys are watching this video after June 11th I don't know what the promotional item is gonna be but you guys can still use my link and you're still gonna get the $20 off plus free shipping but you guys have to use my link to get that $20 off and free shipping I had a great meal with my babe everything was really delicious that was the first time we've ever had fish and bacon before and I thought it was really really good yeah it was and sweet and savory the steak was delicious the snap peas? Snap peas. Snow, snow peas. peas. Snow peas. <laughs> the snow peas were really good. Everything was really, really good. Yeah. So good job. We just, thank you, babe. We had a good family dinner with Brooke's parents. So once again, guys, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for allowing us to do what we love to do. And also big thank you to the Butcher Box for sponsoring videos like this and sponsoring us to do what we love to do. So if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you like this video if you guys like this video. And I will see you guys in that next video.